Hi, I'm Tilly. You might recognise me because earlier this year, I helped to launch the Foundation's first ever brand campaign with my new best friends, Dr Fiona and Dr Nick. This year has been extra exciting for PCHF because the Foundation is celebrating a really big milestone. $100 million in grants. $100 million! How amazing is the WA community? It's also been a big year because PCHF has some pretty big projects taking off. You probably already know all about the Kids Bridge, but what about the green space? Well, work is now underway on site, so it won't be long before all the kids, families, visitors and hospital staff across the campus have a beautiful nature playground to enjoy. Take it away, Carrot. The vision for the project as far as the Perth Children's Hospital Foundation is concerned is a world-class interactive space that will allow us to contribute to the recovery and healing of children, the stress relief of staff, and ultimately the relaxation opportunities for the families of people that are uh, in the hospitals for short, medium and long-term stays. Fire is, is a beacon to our ancestors, to our old people. This is a building of healing. This is a building of our people, no matter where you come from. The Foundation took a view right from the beginning that we wanted to talk to as many people as we can to influence our thinking around the kind of space we needed. Clinicians, nurses, children, family members, collaborative stakeholders like the QE2 Trust and the Perth Children's Hospital itself. And it also included for us the importance of uh, cultural advice, particularly Aboriginal cultures. The Noongar seasons, the six seasons, the Pona, we call the Pona, basically will be reflected in the design in a way of colours and a lot of the animals inside of the design or the plants that will sit here are about the healing practices and, and um, procedures that Aboriginal people would have used for thousands of years. How awesome is that? Another big project is our children's hospice. Western Australia will get its first dedicated children's hospice after the state's planning commission gave its stamp of approval. There's going to be a really special space built especially for kids who are very sick. But I'll let you hear more about that from my friend Renee. A lot of people when they think about palliative care think about death and dying and end of life. Paediatric palliative care is actually really different. It's about longer term relationships. It's about supporting children and families through their life. So when we talk to families, it's allaying those fears and concerns and helping them to understand that our job is to support them along the journey of their child's life, however long or short that may be. So a children's hospice is going to be about children being able to live well and families being able to live well. They will be able to come and spend time as a family or take their child for respite where the child will be cared for by specialist palliative care teams. They'll have incredible activities to be able to do with music therapy and art therapy and hydrotherapy and to think that we'll be able to offer this incredible service for them is just heartwarming, it's incredible. They really deserve it, they really deserve to be cared for and loved and supported at the highest level and that's what this hospice will do. Thanks Renee. So PCHF has been around for a really long time, more than 25 years. Wait, are they like dinosaurs? Thanks to you, they've funded heaps of incredible extras for WA Kids. Things like extra equipment, extra research, and some of the best doctors and training there is. Our donors have continued to be super generous and it's meant the foundation was able to give really eight million in grants. Eight million? That's a lot of money. These funds mean the foundation can continue to support some incredible projects like the Centre of Excellence for Childhood Burns and the Rare Care Centre which is giving hope to WA kids like Holly living with a rare or undiagnosed disease. PCHF is also helping to fund things like new and better treatments for childhood cancer, cooking workshops for teens with type 1 diabetes, 
and amazing equipment like this 3D scale scanner. Snappy is just another example of world leading research. Over to you, Dr. Asher Bowen. That only 300 children ever in the world have participated in a clinical trial to answer questions about staph bloodstream infection in children. Sadly, losing some of those children um, who, who didn't survive the infection. I wanted to find out what are the best treatment options? How do we improve our care? How can we make good decisions as clinicians about what to do when we're faced with a, a, a seriously unwell child? I was in hospital for three months. I was pretty scared, like I didn't know what was happening with my body. I couldn't even really recognise my body, to be honest. Everything would just be really painful. It was really difficult to actually learn like how to walk again, how to move again. To um, get a medicine to be able to defeat staph would just be life changing for lots of people. Snappy at PCH is a trial where we're trying to find out the best possible treatments for staph bloodstream infection in children. I'm really excited to be leading the Snappy trial here at Perth Children's Hospital and grateful for the support of funding from the Perth Children's Hospital Foundation. The biggest thing we're trying to do is save lives. And the beyond part is really thinking about, um, well, how do we change practice globally so that every single child, wherever they are with a golden staph infection, can get the best possible care? As well as funding groundbreaking grants, the whole community has been busy raising funds too. Here's just a small sample of what they've been up to. So to everyone who supports PCHF, from the donors, ambassadors and volunteers, thanks for making such a huge difference to the lives of our state's sickest kids. Thanks. 100 million! Bye!